Oh, duh. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're off to see some real monster trucks at the Monster Truck Rally Jam 3! 3! 3! 3! 3! 3! 3! Violates my probation. Ah, uh, that would be a yes. Let's crank Monster Truck Rally 3! Hot cheesy nachos, two hours of nitro burning monster trucks, and we get to drive one! It doesn't get any better than this! Then whose truck is that? That's not part of the rally! Show's over. Bye. <laughs> Road burn just ate the show. This can't be happening. We were supposed to drive in a monster truck. Yeah! <laughs> there, there, Johnny. Calm down. Everything will be better soon. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. But this will cheer you up. Live from Daytona, it's the Monster Truck Super Extreme Challenge 500. Okay, now I feel better. And here's the first lap. Thanks to Road Burn, the Monster Truck Channel has been canceled. So now we'll run infomercials. I can show you how you can get free money from cheese. Ah, again, ah! Chill out, Johnny. The world will not end without monster trucks. Yes, it will. And with Roadburn on the loose, he'll wipe out the entire monster truck species. But I will stop it! How? I was hoping you guys had the answer. Forget it, Johnny. We have our own problems to deal with. Yeah, like getting Wolfgang and Johann Sebastian to stop fighting. Knock it off, you two! Well, there's no way you can stop Roadkill alone, Johnny. Emphasis on alone, because I will not be going with you. Want to go for a walk? Walk? I love walks. I'll get my leash. Walk! That was a really long walk. Sorry, we can't help you, Johnny. We're very busy. We're trying to see who's the dominant male. It's me. No, it's me! I can't believe you are not looking for Roadburn. It eats other trucks. It's a menace to society! We are. But we have other top priorities. <laughs> Stabilize the economy, spy, get tasty lunch, protect the world from meteors, hunt down mad cows, work on mission to Mars, then stop the crazy monster truck-eating truck. But you have to stop it now! Why? Because, um, you see, dudes love monster trucks. And if they can't see monster trucks, they get sad. And if they get sad, they don't take their families out and spend money and soon consumer confidence plummets and the world is thrown into economic chaos. Meteors and mad cows fall from the sky, destroying the Mission to Mars project. All because you didn't stop road burn! Okay, we'll help. So all we have to do is make another really huge, bigger -y, stronger -y monster truck that will eat road burn. I give you the super secret government monster truck. It comes complete with bunker busting missiles, flamethrowers, 18 cup holders, and a road burn tracking device. And I get to drive. Sorry, Johnny. You're too small. There he is. Let's see how Roadburn handles a real monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the flamethrowers. Actually, it handles it pretty good. Okay. Let's try the big pointy explody thingies. Missile missiles. They're called missiles. Let's try... Brain Brothers! He's gaining on us! We're going as fast as we can! Now he's eating us! I decided I hate monster trucks! Now let's try the eject button! Why can't we get them to stop fighting? Maybe men are just born violent and stupid. Hex 
extreme target is in our extreme sights. Do it! Take the money! <laughs> He's a kid with a rare hair disorder, not a dog. Where's the red gush? We want to feel the crush of the gush! All the deliveries have been truck jacked by some evil extreme dudes. There's no red gush anywhere. No! Ah, no red gush! And don't tell me you're out of extreme cheesy cheese crunchies. Shipment just arrived. Out of extreme crunchies. Ah! Ah, no extreme crunchies! Extreme! <laughs> 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 This team of young punks have pulled off such extreme robberies and are so extremely hard to catch, we're calling them... The Extreme Teen Team? No, but that's good. Let's go with that. And you want us to help you bring these extreme dorks to justice. Actually, we were hoping we could borrow some of your cool vehicles. We've run out of stuff to chase them with. And if you do, these front row tickets to tonight's Screamo concert are yours. The Screamos? Our favorite and hottest rock band in the world? Yeah, that's them. To the shiny power scooters. <laughs> okay, to the super cool tiny spy car thing. It's too tiny. It's no use. We need someone as extreme as these extreme teens to catch them extremely. But who? Somebody stole all the red gush and cheese crunchies. If there was a way we could stop those extreme darks who jacked our snacks, I'd... What? Sweet ride. Now to stop those extreme teens and get back our favorite junky snack food. Hey, what does this button do? <laughs> and that answers my question. <laughs> have just sugar jacked all the sugar in pork belly. In the name of junk and sugary foods, we will stop them! I have the extreme teen team in my sight. Press the claw catcher button. It has 800 tons of grappling power. That should stop the truck and the extreme teen team. Gotcha. But first, I'll press the cool chase music button. Oh, that's catchy. Johnny, the extreme team team are on a collision course with a bus full of happy senior citizens. Don't worry. If the light's red, the extreme team team knows to stop, right? We made the media stop! We've got to stop that bus! But what about saving the soda and the cheese crunchies and the sugar? Fine, we'll save the old people. Uh, and the plan here is... Extreme! The extreme boy with the extreme flaming head saved us. The extreme! We've caught the thrill-seeking extreme teen team. But they're younger than we thought, and one's really hairy. You two just bought yourself a trip to Sandpork Belly Maximum Security Detention Center, where you'll be punished to the fullest extent of the law for minors. What? We're not the extreme teen team. He's right. They're with us. National security and all. Uh, so, uh, uh, carry on and get some coffee. That wasn't so bad. 
Yeah, but that might be. <laughs> Honey, the place looks perfect. <laughs> Uh, well, look on the bright side. My room is clean. No more of those horrible nightmares. The house looks great. Oh, it's not just that. I wish I could redecorate this entire place. I've kept a notebook by the bed for years, filling it with home improvement and design ideas for my dream house. But I guess it'll always be just a dream. I'm heading to the airport to pick up Mr. Sperling. Great! I'm running across town to grab some ingredients for what will be the best dinner for my wife's client ever! Come on, Susan and Mary are waiting. Waiting? For what? This notebook is filled with ideas for Dad's dream house. We're gonna build it for him. Johnny, your parents will be back in two hours. We don't even have enough time to read that book. Oh, we don't have to read it. We don't? Of course not. The computer will scan the notebook and download it to our team of robotic construction drones. Sweet. So Dad's gonna get the house of his dreams, and Mom's client is gonna be super impressed. Johnny, have you actually looked through this book? There's some weird decorating ideas in here. Like what? Well, like having a living room floor made of quicksand. Maybe it's some new design trend, but it's what Dad wants. Notebook to create your dream house. My design notebook? Sure. You know, the notebook you keep by your bed? Johnny, this is not my design notebook. Say what? This is a dream journal, which means you built me my nightmare house! That's right, your fully electronic nightmare house comes complete with Scary Cave Basement, the Stairway of Horrors, holographic vampires, and more. Well, that definitely explains the quicksand floors. The what? No! Oh, Johnny, are you trying to tell me that this entire house has been refurbished based on every nightmare I've had for the last two weeks? Yeah, that's right. And your mom is about to bring home. Mr. Sperling, please let me take your coat. Why, thank you, Lila. I... Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, quicksand! Ah, help! Ah, help! Hold your nose. According to these blueprints, this should drop us down into the scary cave base. Movement! What is going on here? Oh, uh, Mr. Sperling, we just wanted to give you a complete tour of our happy home. This is the cave. Oh, no. Oh, are the centipedes gone? Please tell me they're gone! And this is my husband. Uh, our best chance is to cut the power. There's a central switchboard in the cesspool vault. The what? Your room. Oh, right. Here, Mr. Sperling, let us show you the rest of the place. And that's where we keep our pets. Uh, uh, cats! <laughs> Run! Ah! Run again! That can't go on! It's too much! Make it all go away! Make it all go away! Come on, Dad! You can do this! Thanks, son. I feel much better. G. Oh! 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 
Oh, how I wonder if he'll get it. <laughs> we need your answer, please. G E A U X, go. <laughs> I couldn't spell go. Maybe your experiments are damaging my brain cells. Don't be ridiculous. Now excuse us while we lock ourselves in this lead box. It's called the hairdo ray. It will thicken, color, and style hair in seconds. I totally embarrassed myself in front of the whole school and Janet Nelson Jr. Maybe you just got stage fright because you like her. I don't do stage fright, and I don't like Janet. D-O-N, some other letter, don't. Who doesn't like Janet? She's the prettiest girl in school. At the same time, you hate her, but you still gotta like her. It works! We'll always have awesome hair! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and now you owe me a favor. Make Johnny smart! He shall receive. Behold, the super smarty pants. They look like an ordinary pair of pants, but the wearer will absorb all the knowledge that has been stored into the cyber pant fibers. And the low rise waist and ground dragging flare bottoms add style. I can feel my brain expanding already. I'm a genius. Can you invent me a belt too? Johnny Test, student. His brain barely used. We can rebuild him. The pants will make him smarter. Smarter? Smarter. Faster. Stronger. More technical. And more mechanical. And Janet will probably fall in love with him. These pants have the technology and the cool fashion sense to make the world's first super smart Johnny Tech. Super smarty pants, I'm going to hang you up on actual hangers. I love you. Another day, another opportunity to impress everyone with my super... Smarty pants? Huh, must have fallen off the hanger. Way off. Johnny, I hope you don't mind. I put you on our Battle of the Math Geeks team. Battle of the Math Geeks? Isn't that for math geeks? And for super popular and gorgeous brains like me. I'm the captain. And with you two, we can't lose! Whoa, wait! Wrong way, stupid pants! How could pants attack you? It's not like they have brain waves. They're alive? Wow, this takes breathable fabrics to a whole new level. As of 1.34 p.m. yesterday, the Smarty Pants became self-aware. And until we can do more tests, they have to stay here in the lab. But what about the Battle of the Math Geeks? Shall I call ahead and forfeit for you, or do you want to take your beating like a dumb guy? No way. I think I've absorbed enough Smarty Pants power. I can win without them. We just can't be together anymore. It's not you, it's me. And by that, I mean you freak me out. I'm glad you're on the team test. And I mean that sincerely, which is really weird for me. Our final contestant, Johnny Test. <laughs> 